I tell my students whenever we're doing practice as VFR pilots for their private pilots, like, honestly, I don't understand in some ways how we can say that night flying is VFR flying because there's a lot of times where you don't have a good visual reference on the horizon and you're, especially in South Louisiana, in marshy areas where it's dark, there's no lighting on the ground. I never allow my students to fly over the basin whenever we're doing a night cross-country training for the commercial. Yeah. Like, we always follow either Highway 90 or I-10 if we're going to go to New Orleans because, yes, it may take a few minutes longer, but... I don't want to be in that situation where I'm trying to find a levee that is non-lighted in yeah. in the middle of the basin in a single engine aircraft that doesn't have autopilot at night. It's, it's just in all that aeronautical decision making, we talk about chain of causation. And it's like every small link in that chain that leads up to a problem was preventable. We try to instill that with people is that it's very important to plan ahead. 